What's up, viewers, subscribers, and agents alike? It's your boy, Enlight Lucifer and Prince, coming at you once again. Now, the title of this video is called Lucifer, Lux, and Tenebris. Law Enforcement. Okay? And I think somebody had mentioned it in the comment section about law enforcement and the people being law enforcement, right? And I want to elaborate on what that means. See, social conditioning has taught people that law enforcement are people in uniform. You're wrong. They are policy enforcers, okay? Those are people who enforce corporate policies over your daily living every day. Let's get that straight. But here's the difference between you and them. They take that uniform off. When do you take yours off? Never, because you don't have a uniform. When I tell people about consumer law, that's law enforcement. If somebody says you owe somebody something, you do what? You enforce the law. This is not an occupation. This is your everyday living. And see, when they always try to say sovereign citizen and all this, no, that's just they're out. Because they know that you know that they're trying to put the corporate stronghold on you. So they try to make you look like you're a sovereign citizen. There's no such thing. You're either sovereign or you're a citizen. You can't put both together. See, that's where the FBI fucked up. <laughs> because they, they just made it blatantly known. You see what I'm saying? See, people who are not used to being taken advantage of, they don't like. They don't like it because your eyes are wide open. See, there's many people that's walking around this world with their eyes wide shut. So they have to call you a sovereign citizen. Put a label on you because you know how to read and you know damn well that they're trying to fuck you over. Excuse my language if you watch this video around children. I forgot to say that at the beginning. But pardon me. If you watch this video around children, please remove them from your immediate vicinity. My videos are not for children. Okay, let the kids get out the room. Let them let them go play Nintendo or something. Nintendo Switch or something. Now that they're gone, pardon me, by the way, but it's the truth. It's 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 one of those situations where they know for a fact that they basically know that you know that you know. See, when you start sending cease and desist letters, and you you know you tell them notice of demand, and you start asking questions. Debt verification, you know what I'm saying? Um, usurpation of mortgage notice. All these things, they they now they want to put a label on you. See, anything that goes against the status quo is a problem. But here we are dealing with a corporate system that continuously causes problems. Okay, prime example in tow that chase situation that happened earlier this year where everybody was cashing out checks. I said, y'all throwing y'all back in slavery all over again. J.P. Morgan and Chase, if you actually do your history, J.P. Morgan owned over 13,000 slaves because slaves were considered as chattel slavery. So slaves were actually considered currency. I said, how can this man who is no longer here still have slaves to this day? They talk about it's a glitch. It's not a glitch. Nothing happens by accident. Okay? In this existent realm, it's all planned. Nothing happens by accident. And a lot of people were going out of their way to 
you know, get cash his checks in. Now you are an indentured servant. Congratulations. You put yourself back into slavery, debt slavery. So a lot of people owe him 30,000, 40,000, 50,000. It's so many people. Either they're going to get it from you one way or another. And I'm going to tell you how they're going to get it. You're going to prison. Slavery, 13th Amendment for the modified constitution. Slavery shall not exist in the United States unless, those are the word, here's the exception, unless the person be convicted of a crime. Welcome to slavery, all you chase motherfuckers. <laughs> See, the smart ones know, never fall for the carrot and stick. 48 laws of power. Law number 40 says what? Never accept a free lunch. Read it. Don't take my word for it. But you have to understand, natural law is the law of the will of the spirit, which the creator gave you, if you have one. <laughs> because not all of us have, or have spirit. I'm just going to be real. A lot of people out here in the world just NPCs. Nine player character. You just in the game. You just you just in the way. It's true. But when it comes down to the significance of what we understand as law enforcement, you have to understand why we say what we say in our respective sense of why we say what we say when we say it. You see what I'm saying? And a lot of people don't get that. You know? And for you to be law enforcement, you have to first know what law is. Serious. The remedy of natural law coincides with what law is made. You know what I'm saying? They make laws according to what is naturally occurring. But here's the thing. The corporate system makes what's natural illegal. Prime example. You get caught urinating in public. But now you have to go get arrested and go to a place where you still urinate in the public. <laughs> That's the fucking ludicrous shit. Cookie noodle right there. It's the truth. In certain states, they have drive-through, they have drive-through uh liquor stores. Huh? <laughs> Do y'all not understand the incongruency of this whole situation I'm saying? How do you have a drive through liquor store? I thought you weren't supposed to drink and drive. And it's only because they gain revenue off of it. They're going to gain revenue off of both ways. They're like, yeah, let them enjoy themselves. Yeah. You get out the parking lot, whoop, whoop. Open container. It, it, it's, we got to stop feeding the madness, y'all. Like, literally. We had to stop feeding the machine. Literally, I'm trying to put my watch on. But it's the truth. It's madness. How do you have a drive through liquor store? But yet they stay in certain states, you ain't supposed to drink and drive. In all states, really. Really, you ain't supposed to be drinking and driving no way. But it's crazy work because... How would this even be an establishment in the first place? Think about that. But they keep fooling most of the population every day because the more they keep you foolish, the more they keep you incapacitated, the more money they make off of you. They tell you you have to have a driver's license. If you look in Black's Law Dictionary, license means you're actually breaking the law. So for everybody that owns a driver's license is actually breaking the law. I'm so serious. I am so, so serious. And I, I try to tell people this. Y'all have been duped.
I'm typing with one hand. A license is a legal permit or right granted. That's what it said, granted. By a competent authority to do something that would otherwise be illegal. And they tell you go get a driver's license. Are you out of your fucking mind? <laughs> Are you out of your mind? You will win every case in court if they say you drive with no license. Because guess what? I'll be breaking the law if I had one. In Black's Law Dictionary. Public licenses, driver's licenses, professional licenses, business licenses. And can have various types of conditions. But I'm going to read it again. A license is a legal permit or right granted by a competent authority to do something that would otherwise be illegal, unlawful, or a trespass. So why would I carry a driver's license? Are you out of your fucking mind? <laughs> you have to be the law enforcement, though. See, the creator gave us what's called will. Will to do so. See, a lot of people think it's a negative connotation when they say do it without will. No, as long as it doesn't hurt anybody else. As long as it doesn't harm or affect another person or your property. See, that whole ideology they put you on YouTube talking about do it without will, Alistair Crowley. That, we, that, was, that was ancient. It's ancient codes. All the way back to the 42 laws of my op. Fuck Alistair Crowley. He was nothing more than a grifter. You know what I'm saying? Who turned something that was positive into something negative for his own benefit. That was on him. But do it without wilt means that as long as it doesn't harm anyone else or yourself, do as you will. That's called will. That's what natural law is based on. It's based upon them principles. So when you enforce the law, you're enforcing natural law. You know what's wrong and right. You knew that when you was growing up, you knew that you knew wrong and right before you even had any police officer or judge or prosecutor get in your face. You been knew that. Your mama told you don't do something and you still do it anyway. And then you find out the consequences. That's the world. There's consequences. There's a law. There's the balance. You know what I'm saying? So you bombing my video. But um <laughs> it's the truth. You knew you knew wrong and right before right and wrong ever knew you. And it's the truth. And a lot of people don't understand that. And they have to get that through their head. Like, hey, you know wrong and right. Right and wrong. It's just like when people go out there, like they premeditate stuff. See, it all starts here. It all starts with a conscious thought. This is where the law begins, because this is what they're going to use to judge you based upon your actions. Your actions start here, not out there in the world. Your actions start here. Straight. Your actions start within your head. You know what I'm saying? So I tell people, correct your thinking. You know what I'm saying? Correct your thinking. And understand that you are law enforcement, not them. They are not law enforcement. They're just people in uniform. But what law do they enforce? Most of the time you look at them, they're just standing around. Unless they're Georgia State Patrol, I keep it real with you. Them they stay active. They stay jacked up on Red Bull and so forth and so on. And I'm going to say this. A tidbit of information for y'all that don't know. Most of these police officers that's out here, they're on psychotropic medication. That's why they're hyperly aggressive. And just, it's, I'm telling you, I'm letting you know that right now. They on medication. They are literally hiring mentally ill individuals to perform a duty to control the, pop, the populace. I'm just let I'm be the one to tell you. Yes. They do hire psychiatric messed up individuals because most of these people then served overseas and they come back this is their occupation that's not law enforcement remember it's policy enforcement you know what i'm saying that's what it is y'all better be careful out there 
But remember, the law of the Most High resides in you. And see, for people who don't know the law, you have to know what law is. Do unto others as you have been doing to you. Love thy neighbor as you love thyself. Simple as that. That's keeping the law, which means that's called equity. You know what I'm saying? It's called equity. But beyond anything else, you learned that in less than 16 minutes. My wife got in the shower. All of a sudden, she want to mess my video up. But I tell you, agents, fuck you. And to all my loyal subscribers, make sure you hit that notification. New subscribers, I should say. Hit that notification button. Make sure you hit it twice so you get notifications. Every time I drop that heat, you won't be left out the balance. Peace, like, love. Y'all take care.